Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. Peter! I do for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. 
Well, the admiration is mutual. You've got a good boss, mate. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? <sighs> Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? No disrespect to the boss, but are we gonna keep getting paid like usual? How are you gonna say something like that and say no disrespect? Tommy! I swear I'll blow him away for this! Leave it off. Oh no. Spider. I literally didn't see that coming. Really? More guys? Huh. 
I don't have this many friends! Spider-Man, I checked records and that site's been getting deliveries from cartel front companies. They're moving drugs, huh? Not for long. Oh great, more of them! Guys, Fisk isn't here! You could've just bailed! Showing up in clown cars! Yuri, I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great, I'll just consider this an anonymous tip. How many more Fisk construction sites are there? None. He had every one of them working overtime to bring in money. Well, now he's gonna have a tough time keeping his operation running. Which is bad for Fisk and good for New York. I trust you've enjoyed yourself. Willie, funny story. I was just at one of your buildings. And you'll be shocked to hear that there were shenanigans of the criminal variety. TLDR, Fisk Construction is closed. I have other sources of revenue. But you've inconvenienced me. And there will be consequences. My memory's long. My reach is longer. I should make all the guys who've sworn to kill me fight it out for the privilege. <laughs> 